Howdy, Ace Young here, and this is another segment of a program here on the Sheridan Channel, Channel 22, that we refer to as Back in the Day. The day in this particular circumstance is about 1928, sometime during that year. It was Prohibition, and the hot spot in Sheridan wasn't quite in Sheridan. As a matter of fact, we're on Lower Prairie Dog Road, about four miles out of town, and the hot spot is uh, Art Johnson's barn here. Yep, a barn. Actually, on a, a Saturday night, it was the hot spot. A lot of folks would come out here and party, listen to music, and uh, maybe imbibe a little in the parking lot. And it was also the home of a great band. And someone to tell us about that band is still around today. We're happy to talk to Sam Rodellini, who will tell us about things back in the day. Well, when we came to Sheridan here, um, I was playing the banjo, and uh, Leela S Smith. Yeah, that's. Now that that's a picture of her right there. Right there, yes. Uh, she got us all together, and we she started the band, and she was the boss. In fact, boy, after we got to playing a while, she made us go down to Rock Rockford Studio and take a picture, and we all had to be dressed in white. <laughs> and that's this picture right here. Yeah, and we we were playing. Uh, around the area, uh, the, the Woman's Club, and we played at uh, Johnson's Barn, and that was on a Sunday night, you know, because um, we had to do that during the summertime because of, of the heat, and we had a lot of fun out the Johnson's Barn. I hear that those barn dances used to be kind of kind of rowdy. Tell me about that. Well, when they come out there, they all uh, would get together and they talk to each other and get friendly and stuff like that and, and get up to date on uh, on the, what's going on in the country. And um, they'd be upstairs. They'd have to go up the ladder to get upstairs. In the barn. In the barn, yeah. Mr. Johnson would come by and tell us to, uh, just to take a break. We were playing and they were just talking. They weren't dancing or anything like that. And pretty soon they'd take a break, and then they'd leave and come back. And after they came back, they're really in good, pretty good mood, you know. <laughs> they must have... <laughs> oh, my. Yeah. One can only imagine. Now, this was during Prohibition, Prohibition. right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So let me guess. There might have been a little uh, hooskow or something in the parking lot. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And then we'd, the boy they really got active up there. we do the round dances and the square dances, you know, and the... Shoddishes and anything they wanted us to play, well, we played it for them, and they all had a nice time. But uh, uh, and uh, while we played up there, and we enjoyed playing there too, round well, dances too. I have to ask a question: You didn't Twitter, or you didn't have Facebook, any of that internet stuff back then. How did you let people know you were having a party, you were having a dance out at the barn? Well, I think Mr. Johnson took care of that, you know, and uh, the and the ranchers in the area. That they know on what Sunday we'd, we'd be playing out there. So. What kind of music did you play? Well, we played mostly uh, square dancing, round dances. We played the, the very popular tunes, uh -huh. and uh, actually uh, whatever they liked there. Uh, you say square dancing? Would that have been country music? What we'd call country music today? Or well, th they'd have a man calling that, and they, they'd call the the circle the the dances, you know, Adam and left, and all that stuff, and they'd do that, and then we'd go into maybe waltzes, and uh, they they do a waltz or a shotish or um, polka, we we did all that for them. I was gonna say polkas uh, yeah. with with the Polish people here in town. I gotta imagine that the polkas had to be popular. Oh, there was a, quite a few polka pe people there, and they could sure dance too. I'll tell you. Now you could play all this stuff. Yes, we could. Yes, we could. Yeah. So and we had a pretty good little band there. It was nice, and and she was a good piano player too. She was a good piano player, and Sam was an excellent banjo player. We should tell you too that. Sam's music continued to entertain the folks in Sheridan right on into the 60s. Sam would continue to play at various acts and venues around town, even including some high school dances. An amazing story about Sam Rodellini and the history of Sheridan back in the day. For the Sheridan Channel, Channel 22, this is Ace Young reporting.